What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're making banana bread. That's right, banana bread. It's such an easy recipe. Just a couple of steps. Make sure you stick around for that. If you are new to the channel, what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. If you're a current subscriber, thank you for all your support. We really do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, here we go. Step number one, we're gonna stir our sugar, melted butter, eggs, and vanilla in a large bowl. We're gonna start off with one cup of white sugar and one half cup of melted butter. You see it melted there, that's unsalted butter. One stick is the same as one half cup. And you just wanna take your time here and incorporate the melted butter with the sugar, okay? Uh, that melted butter will dissolve that sugar and just give you that nice base of sweetness <laughs> uh, along with that buttery flavor. So once you get that mixed up, you're, you're going to add in two eggs here. We're going to crack these eggs into a separate bowl, give them a quick whisk. That way we know they're whisked up before we add them in very important and then once they're whisked we just drop them in the bowl so there you go they're dropped in and then finally our last step is our pure vanilla one teaspoon of vanilla extract this stuff is like liquid gold <laughs> it tastes and smells so good and just mix it all together just like so looking good Next up, step number two, combine our flour, baking soda, and salt. So one and a half cups of flour, all-purpose flour, and then one teaspoon of baking soda and one half teaspoon of salt. That's it, real simple. Give it a quick whisk. Make sure it's nice and combined, and that's it. Not much to that at all. Next up, the main ingredients. Two medium bananas, perfectly ripe in my opinion. You can let them go a little darker or you can make them a little less ripe, but this in my opinion is perfect. Here we go. Step number three, slice our bananas and chop our walnuts. These bananas are so ripe. You could have let them go another day or two after this and they just kind of fall apart. And that's just going to give them that extra sweetness for our banana bread. So take them out, unpeel them, and then we're just going to slice these up. Butter knife, it doesn't take much. And just kind of slice, slice, slice. And we're going to end up mashing these up anyway. So there's our bananas and then our glazed walnuts. You can use just regular walnuts, but I found these glazed ones. They're glazed with sugar. <laughs> And oh my god, they taste so good. Uh, let me tell you, first time I made them with these, and they came out really good. So I highly recommend the glazed walnuts. And you want to chop these up pretty fine. Not too crazy, but pretty, pretty good. And then that is it. We are on to step number four. We're going to stir in the flour mixture and fold in the bananas, sour cream, and walnuts. So... Our flour mixture is already done. We kind of add that into our, our other mixture with our melted butter and our sugar, vanilla extract, and eggs. And we get that all combined together. And then we fold in our bananas just like so. Uh, again, these are going to mash up just as you move them around. And you just want to fold them from the bottom to the top, kind of overlap them and get them nice and mixed up just like this so you can see they're kind of breaking up and that's what you want then the secret ingredient here the sour cream so we add in some sour cream here a half a cup and just full from the bottom and this is going to make it so rich so moist and just keep this banana bread awesome so fold that in from the bottom to the top 
mix it around nice and gentle not too crazy the main mixture is already mixed up we're folding it in so here we go and then our walnuts drop it in the top again fold in these as well from the bottom to the top kind of move the bowl around as you do it and just incorporate into the final mixture which looks like this here's a little close-up final mixture you can see it looks great now we're going to take our loaf pan and oil it up a little bit with some spray and then our final step step number five add our mixture to an oiled loaf pan and bake at 350 in a preheated oven for one hour no peekaboo cooking here guys you do not want to peek you never want to peekaboo cook but definitely not when you're baking anything because it just kind of throws off the whole recipe so i've been making this recipe for years it always comes out phenomenal but you can't peekaboo cook all right so what do i mean by peekaboo cook open up the oven to see what it looks like all right hopefully you have an oven with a glass and you can see all right after one hour it's done you want to let it sit for 10 minutes to cool which i did and then from there you want to slice off the sides just to make sure it comes out and then put it on our cooling rack which i do here and then let it cool completely okay you could try to cut it when it's nice and hot but it's probably gonna not stay together as well as if you let it just cool completely so here we go we slice it up i'm gonna give you a little close up here <laughs> here we go look at this it is looking phenomenal oh my god <laughs> that looks so good so we're slicing it up look how moist that banana bread is <laughs> it looks incredible absolutely incredible that knife just kind of glides right through it oh my goodness all right i am ready this thing looks phenomenal let's go give it a taste whoo wee ha ha all right we got some beautiful tasty hopefully tasty <laughs> banana bread it looks amazing smells amazing the butter is melted we're gonna give this a shot but first a close-up Butter is melting, the bread is steaming, and it looks delicioso. All right, let's give it a taste. Ooh. Here we go. Mmm. 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 That is so moist. Tastes delicious. Mm. One more bite. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Such an easy dish. Just a couple of steps. And it is so good. You got to give this a shot. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.